you like being in a fight? I love it. I actually feel, it sounds crazy, and a lot of people probably couldn't understand or relate to it, but I feel at my most comfortable in the heat of battle. When I'm in there with somebody and I'm fighting, I can't hear anything else, I can't hear anything. All I can do is, I'm just in a zone mm. that no other walk of life can get me into. I'm just fortunate we live in a society where I'm allowed to do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, 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 a, it's, it's, it's a place that I'm, I'm, I believe I'm truly genetically designed to do that to one be, thing, to, be to, do, to be in there competing. But you retired in 2012, I think it was, and, and you said that uh, being hit in the face for 20 years was long enough. Yeah, I had, a, I had a plan from, sounds crazy, I had a plan from when I was a kid that I'd retire before I was 31, I believe, you know, competing for 20 years. It's a long time. It's a, it's a long time. But I believe I could achieve all I wanted to in 20 years. You know, I was the undisputed uh, cruiserweight mm. champion of the world. I won all the titles at the 90 kilo weight division. Um, no other British fighter had ever done that mm. before. I then went up to heavyweight and won the heavyweight title, beat the biggest ever heavyweight champion in history, seven foot two, 25 stone, uh, became the second man in history other than Amanda Holyfield to do that. And then I wanted to unify the titles against Vladimir Klitschko right. on his home turf in Germany. Went to do that just before my 31st birthday and lost that fight in points. So I didn't quite oh, achieve Oh, so there one. was a one there final was one, thing. There was one final thing. I wanted that perfection in my career. If I would have had that, I would have been able to retire. But it didn't quite happen. So I, I said, oh, I said I was going to retire. I've been saying it since I was 10. So I thought, OK, I'm going to retire anyway. Sitting at home, you know, on a beach somewhere, going, <laughs> something's not quite, quite right. right. There's, there's, still some, there's still some work to do. I mean, a number of boxes. I include you in this. Outside the ring, you're gentle, softly spoken. Is it easy to go from that to the aggression that's required to win? It's, it's harder being, it's harder being here now, being a, a, a healthy member of society. That's the hard part of that. That's the hard part for me. Actually, the easy... Michael's found that too. So it's been a struggle for him. He's still working on it, actually. But believe it or not, it's the easiest thing for me is once I'm in, in the ring, once there's a referee there and he goes back, everybody gets out of the ring, just me, my opponent, and the referee. I don't see the referee. I can hear him. I, I sense him. I know he's there, but I'm just in a zone and I'm like, that's, you know, it's just a strange, I, I, not many people can get it because not many people have been there, but it's a, it's a special place. But you're now expected also, be even before you get into the ring, to do this kind of face-off thing and yeah. stare at each other and look <laughs> angry and yeah. serious and threatening. I mean, is that a mind game or is it just show business? Um, it's a bit of show business. Um, it's, I've had, unfortunately, I've been in a situation where I've had someone play that game with me and it got too close and it ended up kicking off. I ended up having a punch up in a press conference. I've often like wondered why that doesn't happen With like 200 members of the press with, that is on CNN and BBC. I was like, oh, <laughs> terrible. But believe it or not, everyone said it was, it was on all the front page news. It's a disgrace. It's terrible. Uh, blah, blah, blah. But after that, one of the biggest grossing fights. Uh, it, was, it sold. <laughs> that was the best possible promotion yeah. for a boxing match. Strangely, after everyone, all the, all the writers were, who were saying it was disgusting, they were there front row. Yeah. What a great fight. We really anticipated. Because they felt it was a real grudge. It was a real, real, it was a, yeah. it was a genuine yeah. grudge. grudge, grudge. You know, I filled a soccer stadium, but it was, it, was, it was a great night. Wow. Our <laughs> politics is pretty adversarial. Yes. Isn't it? It's quite, there's a lot of yes. fighting talk. Even the metaphors are That's... fighting talk. We say about who won PMQ. Yeah. Big beasts. There's a big All beast. Are they up for yeah. the, the fight? Who the, wins? The upper hand. It, the, um, it is. Um, and I do think that what I've always found fascinating about the chamber is it's really exposing because under pressure, you yeah. people can't hide who they really Start are. Crack under yeah, the, that's exactly the right. And it's it is both. It is both a, a, a fight, but it's also theatre in the, in the mm. real sense that people are very exposed there and their, their real tendency you comes be, out. But, but I think the number of people who are really stimulated by the fight in politics, really stimulated, who, who relish it, are very few. Mm. And they are the ones that get to the top. I mean, people like Tony Blair, people like David Cameron are exceptionally good. They really are stimulated by it. Uh, and they triumph uh, because of that. I mean, when you were talking about being in the zone and loving yeah. all that, you could say that about that sort of politician. There's no doubt about it. And you're also saying that you are a rare beast. You are, I'm sure, uh, and they are too. Yeah. When you gave up the political fight, if yes. I put it that way, yes. uh, and I know you have no thoughts of coming back now, but when you gave up, was there something at the back of your mind that said, well, this may just be for a while? 
well, that's how it was because I was defeated. So, and um, I had this idea of unfinished business, a bit yeah. like what David has just said. And so I came back because I had unfinished business. Uh, I assure you that the second time I decided to leave, which was the first time I was leaving voluntarily, that was it. I said there was, there was no question in no your question mind that, that was. But I'm also absolutely sure that I lacked the aggression that David has described, and I lacked the aggression that David Cameron or that Tony because Blair every day, or that Margaret that's Thatcher right. You've got to get up, get back on your feet. You've got yeah. to forget mm. the insults. You've got to Eye always be driving forward yeah. and trying to <laughs> break David, determination. Yeah. The country, our country, has a new IBF world heavyweight yeah. champion, yeah. Anthony Joshua. Yeah. Uh, you want to fight him? I'd love to. Yeah, he did a great thing the other, the other night, Saturday night. You know, he had an American champion come over here and he dispatched him in mm. one round. It was a great event. This venue. country's good at boxing, isn't we, it? We're, we're doing fantastic at boxing. I think we have about 12 uh, current world champions now. It's better than any, any other Why time. Why is that, do you think? I don't know. I think it might have been uh, the spur of the Olympics. I don't know. Maybe kids are seeing. Mm. Um, champions and believing they've got a chance. Role models. A role model. They've seen these, they've seen these, these world champions now, the amateur kids, and believe I want to be there one day. And it's, it's only it's now. It's really popular in my constituents. We've got a couple of local gyms that yeah, I've been they're to. Not, and not, it's... They're not designer gyms. Boxing. No, no they're no, proper, no, no, proper amateur boxing. Really? Grass, David, just we're almost out of time. What's your, your next fight then? Next yeah, fight's uh, May 21st at the O2 Arena. I'm fighting a, a Cosman guy, Arnold the Cobra. He's 29 <laughs> fights. He's never lost before. Oh, Six foot five. So he's heading up. for a defeat now. He's going to get knocked out. Yeah. So David, if you need any tips. Just give me a call. Okay, I might need a sparring partner. <laughs> 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 <laughs>